L L double L. How about that? Lovely ladies, lay lines. When we get through, throw something black with that. Fresh and brand new for the children who were abandoned years prior. Now we brought them here. They get to sit in the laps of the old people. Okay? Old people are tired. They're in the sun all day. Boom, these babies, young people who haven't had the lap time, man, they get to sleep in old people's laps, right? And guess what that's doing? That is transferring energy that the old people have gotten all day in the sun, planting flowers, doing all that in the markets, teaching whatever they were doing all day because that's their job. They have to be in the sun all day, the older people, okay? And uh, so when they come in the cage, like a spa, the, young, the mid, mid-aged mid people, you know, give them the water, drink, treat them right, you know, you know, make sure they're taken care of, the skin is taken care of, all of that, okay? They get there once they get there, cool down time. But yeah, when they get ready to go to sleep, boom, they can go to sleep. And yet, at the same time, while they're in the lap, they're being held. Babies are being held by the old people. The energy is being transferred. The love that they're, that they're being needing in those caves, in those caverns, liquid to limestone, where things are nurtured without the sun's energy, but the solar message, just like in the womb, okay? And you think, why, why would you do that? They, the old people are tired. They can drop the baby. No. They're not going to drop the child because the child ain't going to let them drop it. Because anytime you try to move, what the baby going to do? Jump. And then both of them jumping up. Boom. That's the alarm system, okay, that we naturally have in us. Like when people start losing weight, when they start drinking a lot of water, they talk about they lose sleep because they got to get up all throughout the night. So what? That's your natural alarm system. It's coming back to you to alarm you about everything else in your body, all the other uh, clogged up places throughout your body. That's what that's doing for you now. Giving you a new alarm system. No matter how much sleep you have, doesn't matter to the body. The body knows alarm, boom. It'll refresh in you the cost of that later. So your brain is telling you, oh, I'm losing sleep. If you don't tell yourself that, you never will know. Because it would, if you just say, okay, I'm up to use the, go use the restroom. I'm up to get rid of this, what's in my body, and go back to sleep. Bam. How, how do you know you're losing sleep? How can you lose something you never had? You don't get sleep by going to sleep and then losing it. That's a crazy. I mean, I, I mean don't mean to say crazy, but that's. That's a weird thing to say because if you never got it, you, you can't lose it. So, in that sense, okay, we, we got that now. And in that, you see the transfer of energy. You see how what goes around. You see the power invested in me. You see where I'm on the other side, where the ley lines out way out there. It's got to be an oral tradition. This is not written down somewhere where you can uh, uh, pull it up. But if it is, I would like to see it to know that I am communication uh, in depth, total recall, ancestral being with all the people who have this knowledge and understanding and, and willing to express it in such a way. But actually it's a story that is a uh, beautiful story, uh, one of the greatest stories to be told. You know, we think we always should think we're the best in whatever we do. So that story with the uh, picking cotton, terrible time for slavery, and then uh, Underground Railroad, it's a beautiful combination of energies to show that the old people all have that energy and to see it as a futuristic time. That's what they do all day, is all they work out of the sun and beautify the earth. And that night, uh, how they sleep is they uh, get some rest, they hold the babies in their lives in a, in a rocking chair, exactly. And you think, uh, that's not a comfortable sleeping position, but it is a very comfortable sleeping position. The lying down position, you can, get, you can just get a few hours uh, lying down position to match that uh, totally, okay? You can get sit up sleeping uh, for maybe five or six in the last two, you can lie down and sleep, and that'll balance that out. I've always wanted to have to lay down and sleep, so your brain is not... When you don't get to lay down, your brain won't be thinking, oh, I'm not getting enough sleep because I'm laying down. I'm not laying down. In which 
you can get sleep as a soldier. You can sleep anywhere. <laughs> okay, you know, as a uh, just uh, someone who loves life, you know, we can just lay on a rock and turn that into a pillow, any shade tree we can fall asleep on. Okay, so let's use that energy uh, totally with this thing here. There it is. Uh, we we taking the energy from the most destructive aspects of our lives and made it the best, and to show that today the people who are needing to be on the air all the time, how uh, that is creating a destructive process in the natural world of always having to have that material being dug up and being used. Not saying it's a bad thing, but as an environmental person, that's what we see as people being led into living that life. And it's actually not a natural process, but one that's been uh, sold to the people and uh, as a comfort, actually, there's nothing comfortable about it at all. The uh, uh, start to finish destructive uh, need for it is easily seen. So, uh, again, uh, a beautiful story about how we see it from a bigger picture. And that's the healing. That's who I am from that energy and not just from this energy of today only to be able to rise up and to see our plight in such a way that I can use picking cotton terrible situation and with the underground railroad at the same time it's a beautiful experience the energy of it all taking it showing it and that's what they do in the future to to mend all generations all over again because we didn't do that somehow we got away from that so in order for that to come again to move forward in that again there it is and those are the practices those are the rites of passages those are the swarms that we have in us to make these type of things happen you have to be able to move away from it give it space it's going to slow down and you're going to feel the energy of it regardless. That's what it's supposed to do because you're putting pressure on yourself to feel it. And you're going to get it. Okay? And pressure is what expansion is answers. Right? No matter no matter the speed. speed. The speed has to do with how fast or slow you want to go. Both speeds are all, always there. Okay? Remember at birth, your life flashes before your eyes. And that so and at so called death, your life flash, your life flashes before your eyes. Okay, so the speed is already always there. Which one you choose to ride on, or which one you can even choose to help someone to come out of. If you know the speed of healing, and you see someone going the wrong direction, talking about they want to pass on and die, they don't have to. You can give them a lesson in living and uh, <clears throat> joyously move on with it. So that's what these ley lines are. Speaking of ley lines, look at those lines on those rocks. Beautiful, isn't it? And uh, uh, beautiful earth knowledge, earth teaching in a vibrational way. Simply said, well, read, exposed to those. Okay, and uh, wow, that uh, I've been holding on that for a minute there. Uh, that baby, that's where that baby who was. I was telling you, I about read out of steel. That's where that baby is from in that story there. That baby was trained by the old people who would come in under the caves, the underground railroad, rest, and the energy to hold the babies who were abandoned, those who were, who, who were going to be abandoned. We got the love for them to show them that no matter what they do, we won't be dropped. Because those old people, lives depend on them holding that baby. And you know they're not going to drop that baby in that instance, in that rites of passage. In those uh, skill sets, no one has failed that, those tests yet. And we take them through a rigorous test. <laughs> Months at a time, years at a time, to be able to hold a baby no matter what. They may 
they look as if they been they be hanging, look like they barely holding, but they are holding on to that child. That unseen energy is locked in, just like a bat. When they turn upside down, their feet, they got an automatic locking mechanism. Then when they go to sleep, it locks in, it's going to hold on to it. Okay, that sonar message, that humming, and old folks, same thing. Echo location device, the mother load, the story's been told. Today, yesterday, into the future, moving forward. All right, word is bond. Yo, son.